I want to begin by giving a little bit of a history on the X Prize. So you may not remember this, but the organization is actually about 22 years old. It's kind of hard to imagine that. It was 22 years ago that a dear friend of mine starred me on a venture. Greg Marinak gave me a copy of The Spirit of St. Louis in 19, late 93, I call it 94, to inspire me to start or actually finished my pilot's license. And I read about the story of Charles Lindbergh, his epic journey across the Atlantic. It, it got me to finish my pilot's license. Also started what we're doing here today. And I call that early period the concept phase. Joined by Greg Marinak and Bob Weiss and a number of you here today, it was this idea of could a prize actually bring about the creation of spaceships? In 96, we launched it in St. Louis. And you'll hear the story over and over again. Didn't have the money. Uh, I think the Greek word is chutzpah. Uh, <laughs> and in 96, we launched it and then spent a long time trying to raise the capital. In 2001, we met our patron saints, the Ansari family, and began... Yes, we have so much <laughs> thankful to the Ansari family. Amazing entrepreneurs and amazing philanthropists. Uh, and it became known as the $10 million Ansari X Prize. One in 2004, you know, I like to say it was an overnight success after 10 years of hard work, right? And it began an epic period of growth. Uh, and we are now entering the fifth phase of this foundation. Uh, it's a phase of hyper growth and global impact. And you're going to hear me say this a number of times. This next phase uh, is the vision of our new CEO and the amazing team that we have at the XPRIZE Foundation. I'm so excited about where we're going next and so excited. This is truly the beginning of that next phase of where we're going. So our MTP, our Massively Transformative Purpose, to borrow a term from my dear friend Salim, at XPRIZE is to build a bridge to abundance for all. And those of you who know me know I'm, a, you know I'm the abundance guy, and that we're living during the most amazing time ever in human history, right? The best time ever to be alive, where nothing is impossible. And the realization I had years ago, it was that technology that you're all creating, that we're using, is the force that takes what used to be scarce and makes it abundant. Over and over again, what used to be scarce is becoming abundant. So we're creating abundance for everyone across all of these areas, right? We have 8,000 times more sunlight than hits the surface of the Earth than we use as a species. It's just not usable form yet, but it will be. You have abundant energy, you have abundant water, healthcare, housing. The challenge is that most of us, year in, year out, day in, day out, are being told by the news media, who I like to call a drug pusher, that the world is filled with all of these negative things. And the challenge is that we pay 10 times more attention to negative news than positive news because evolutionarily, it saved your life 10,000 years ago. And so we are bombarded by negative news over and over and over again. It's not that it's not true. It's just that it's not a balanced view of all the amazing things going out there in the world. And so I want to share for a few minutes the evidence for abundance, right? That we are living in a world today that over the last century, over the last century, we have tripled the per capita income for every nation on this planet. We have doubled the human lifespan. We have dropped the cost of food 13-fold. The cost of energy has dropped 30-fold. Transportation 100-fold. Communications thousands of fold. 